I've often heard um, people when talking about sports and athletes and you, they confront an athlete who's trying to get better or be the best at what they're trying to do and, and you hear the trainers often say something like, you know, how much do you want it? How much do you want it? You know, in other words, you know, they're putting forth that idea is, is the amount of effort you put forth is going to depend on how much you want to do it. Well, think about Mark chapter 10, verse 17. Rich young ruler comes to Jesus, and he says, what must I do to inherit life? And Jesus answers, do not murder, do, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not give false testimony, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. But Jesus, knowing that he had a, a more subtle, and at least maybe unknown to many other people, had a, had a personal weakness. Jesus added this. He said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor. And then he says later, then come follow me. But the real lesson here isn't about possessions. The lesson Jesus was, was teaching really wasn't just about possessions. It's about anything that means so much to us that we will turn loose of the Lord before we'll turn loose of it. And that could be many different things. And Jesus was confronting this young man with an essential question. And paraphrasing it, you could just say, Jesus was paraphrased to say, how much do you want eternal life? Do you want it enough to walk away from what's controlling you? Well, he wanted it, but not that much, because we know that he walked away. The one thing that Christ will not occupy in our lives is second place. Tonight, if you've decided you want it, if you want eternal life, and if you've heard the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel, and you've decided that you want your salvation from your sins bad enough to give up your sins, and if you're ready to confess them before others and ready to be immersed in water for the forgiveness of your sins and inherit eternal life, if you want it tonight, we ask you to come forward as we sing this invitation song.